Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pernod Bobby, your astrotherapist, giving you ah, all that love on the Libra new moon. Libra is one of the signs that you know very little about. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna say that, and I'm gonna do my best to break it down. Now, before I do that, memberships on YouTube, I only have one, I'm going to look to maintain it as only one as I make more memberships on my website off grid. There's only one membership, Astro Support. The video should be coming up, it should already be out. I made my own custom made emojis. I wanna just take a moment to say, look, all lives, as a part of Libra's energy and this new moon manifestation, I'm gonna take it step by step, brick by brick, and purify all my relationships. Now, as a part of that, I spent a lot of energy in those live chats, really walking people through and providing therapy through the means of astrology. Hello, that's why I'm here, as your astro therapist. But I gotta make sure that I energetically stay aligned with myself and what's being asked of me. So definitely check out the memberships. And now I'm going to go ahead, the membership and the custom emojis that I made. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and break down the Libra new moon happening on the 25th of September at two degrees. Now, two degrees is the degree of Taurus. It's everything internally happening within you. It's a very introverted process, even though you may seem to think that Libra is an extroverted energy. In fact, Libra has a lot of introverted qualities as well, um, and it doesn't really fuck with as many people as people would like to think. Yet and still, it does bring a lot of harmony. And so harmony and a part of harmony and us being graced in the sky by harmony is the fact that you're not messing with everybody. So from now and six months from now, if you add September, I'm gonna say October just because, okay? So we've got the 10th month plus six more months. We're looking more like April next year, bringing us into Aries season. Now, so we have to understand Aries as an energy because Jupiter and Aries is in retrograde currently, opposite of the new moon in Libra. So what does that mean? Jupiter coming in at the third degree is saying, look, we are being asked on this new moon now and six months from now to really embrace what is super courageous about our individuality, about our personal personality, and how do we speak about it as well as create new endeavors after our belief system and everything about I am and myself has gone through a introspection and a retrospection. Aries is getting ready to, in Jupiter and Aries getting ready to go back out during this Libra new moon, after the Libra new moon, back out and finish a very long 12 year plus cycle, okay? When it goes step back into Pisces, finally asking us to release and surrender any belief systems that are not required, okay? In our relationships with clients, friends, as well as your lover. And that's where we bring it back to the Libra new moon. This is a time where with your lovers, with your friendships, your lovers and friends, as well as your clients, you may notice a brand new season push as we're here in the fall equinox. So this retrograde in Mercury, AKA right now coming from Mercury and Libra, is stepping back into Mercury and Virgo, something we also have already passed. It's asking us to say and take one more last analytical look at what are the mental processes in our mind and the irrational fears about how to bring our ideas, our, the relationships we dream of from spirit down on earth. And that's the glyph of Venus. I can't make a Venus glyph with this. You got the circle, this is the, this is the spirit. We got this, give me a finger. Yeah, and then we now we got the, yeah. Ah, okay, thank you very much. So, this is the magic of the relationships. You're recognizing who matters. You you purify the entire process, and you have with data analyzed. Yo, look, these people really just don't fit my mental status that I'm stepping into as a part of this new season because Mercury left Virgo and went into Libra. So we've already seen what it feels like and what friends, what relationships matter. But what's more important about this is from now six months going, it's at the second degree that this is happening. So it's all about having a sense of self, a sense of worth, a sense of this is what I have already. And the things that you already have, you may be taking during this Mercury retrograde, a second and a final look to analyze what is clear about who just won't make the next cut, who won't make the next season. And those that make the next season, you have officially balanced out in a very divine way. You had to have some tough conversations over the last couple weeks 
as we step into the darker half of the year and these tough conversations we're only seeing will this person stand the test of time and stand the test of divine justice are they willing to approach what is divinely just balanced and harmonious in your relationships with business partners clients anybody you're in a therapeutic environment with because libra itself is therapy you're checking in with a relationship with your therapist do they make the next cut are you going to shift with a new therapist altogether are you taking on new modalities of therapy as a whole and finally you're going to have to check in on as libra new moon well, what are the values systems you have when it comes to um water alcohol and anything else that gets filtrated through your kidneys because Libra is the kidney. So if you're having kidney issues, I had a discussion very recently with a family member and I had a grandmother who died from kidney failure. And all these years later, I'm starting to realize, oh crap, I see these learned behaviors and patterns and relationship dynamics and how it's playing in my family ancestry. And what's beautiful about this, we have a very healing time to happen within the family, within the traditions we have in the family. Why? Because Pluto is in Capricorn and is getting ready to get out of there next March 2023. Okay? And so when it leaves and before it leaves, Pluto will officially transform what traditions used to look like for you. And it's having a very healing, harmonious aspect on this new moon with Virgo. Venus in Virgo is pretty much right on top. You got Pluto at 26 degrees during this new moon. And you have Venus in Virgo pretty much at like 27 degrees. So it's like us being able to take in all the things that were once chaotic and really start to learn with Mars and Gemini how to cut through the barriers, how to cut through the, 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 the disciplines, how to cut through where has our reputation held back our hopes and our dreams. Saturn is in Aquarius and Mars is in Gemini. Mars and that Aquarius energy, um, sorry, Gemini and that Aquarius energy, both those winds, we're having very tough discussions, very tough conversations. And we are officially cutting through the dynamics within our traditions, within our ancestry, all right? As we have this quick, rapid, accelerated acceleration on our sense of self, our sense of worth, we're starting to value our personal bodies more. And as a part of that, you're going to start seeing globally tantric practices implemented more, being less about the physical body, being less about physical sexual relations and more a matter of your soul. OK, your soul, your spirit tying together in union. And this is one of the higher octaves of Libra energy when it comes to partnership. I literally say it again, this is one of the higher octaves through the purification. It's like with the second house on the Libra New Moon, people who have not, including you, respected your body, respected, respected how you want to value yourself, respected the self-esteem that is pushing forward because cardinal air pushes forward. So you may start off with just simple ideas, simple discussions with Mars and Gemini, taking action and assertion on being more curious in the discussions that you're willing to have in your relationships. And this is going to start making some very positive aspects while Libra season is on the rise. So understand and take them with a grain of salt and take them with the mindset of you have already analyzed each and every piece of chaos in your life. All right. And so from this point now, six months later, the, purific the purification process will continue on. And if anything does not belong, it won't make it. It's going to get cut from the roster. It's going to get cut from the team. All to bring you more harmony, which is working very well with the North Node in Taurus which is doing what as a collective is bringing all of us for a year and a half from last January or this January 2022 to next May or so bringing us all towards harmony all towards valuing ourselves valuing our body which is why I made those mentions about how tantric will see a rise because this is one of the things that Pluto and Aquarius is going to start activating later which is a more mental stimulating um, connection with somebody who's somebody, not just anybody. So on this Libra new moon, this is a good time for you to go ahead and take some journal prompts, start taking and looking at what do you value from a source energy that you wanna bring down to earth. If you look at the glyph of Venus, what are you valuing about the divine that brings and grounds back down on earth? Because with that Venus and Mercury energy, making nice harmonious aspects, sextiles and trines with Pluto, these transformations in your reputation, your identity are permanent. How you use the resource that you already have are permanent. The healing that you are going through in your physical body are permanent. So take a notebook, write it down. What do you want to be known for Capricorn? And what do you need to purify? Who will make the next stage and who won't? 
It's Pernell Bobby asking you to not only like and subscribe, but to check out the memberships options, which is the only one, Astro Support, and help your brother out. We out here making freaking production costs. We got Canva costs. We got website costs. We got government tax costs. Look, I'm a full-time creator. This is what I'm out here doing. I'm looking and I'm reaching out to the community to help support me. So on the lives, we're going to be blocking off the chats and only members will be engaged. And I want to say thank you, okay, because this is part of the purification. Embrace the new relationships that are coming and know that you are in the right place. Love. Subscribe.